Stop teaching your kids bullshit. Stop teaching your kids that they're going to be okay if they don't try Absolutely. Absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, we're always getting, okay, so we're on favorable opinions, right? If, you, if this is the first time you're catching this video or whatever, we're sisters. I'm Evelyn. This is Emily. And we're on favorable opinions. We're 95 Rucas. 95 because it's the area code. We're from Livermore, California, yes. not Antioch, not other areas. Yes. Um, but this is good is. because we are always talking to somebody, right, mm -hmm. about kids. Because I have kids. I have six kids. And People are like, damn, you guys are mean. You guys are so mean. You guys are like, damn, you guys pressure Too your harsh. kids. Yes. However, I I understand, right? Because we, we do work with different age kids, special needs kids, everything, yes. all, all across the board, even adults in transition. Yes. Okay. So we, we understand these things. We understand that there's people and possibilities and capacities mm -hmm. and skill level and all of that. However, I think this is just my personal opinion. Okay? Just our opinions. Yes, just our opinions. I feel like people are making it way too easy for their kids. They, I understand, right? You want to take care of your kids or your babies, like what he said, right? And I'm yes. not going to repeat what he said. Uh, but that's because they came out from over there, right? Yeah. Well, some of them aren't even coming out from your own. Yeah. <laughs> but that's just, that's just, that's for another topic. Let's stay on topic. Kids and this stuff. So let's talk about that because uh, I'm a firm believer, like, yes, you want what's better for your kids, right? You want them to have what's better, better than what you had. Okay, so you got to get them there. So you, they, I, and yes, there's different circumstances for different kids. But if you're not pushing, if you're not keeping them accountable, then you're just you better be ready to take care of them for the Even rest. Even if of your um, life. they're stubborn and they're like, no, yes. no, and and they still choose to do otherwise. Yes. No, I say you keep pushing that. You keep planting that seed in their head. Yes. No, no, you're better than that. No, yes. try harder. Yes. And I feel like that's just my personal opinion that now a lot of them that have labels and you know, everybody wants a label, right? Oh, autism. Oh, this. Oh, that. And I apologize if you feel offended, but I'm, it's not my, my intent is not to offend. It's no. to just bring awareness. Uh, a lot of people feel because, oh, because so-and-so has this. Oh, they can't. No, who says? Who says they can't? Because you're saying they can't. It's yeah. like, for example, like my son. My son is nine. He has a seizure disorder. And, you know, we were told from very early on when he first started, oh, he's not going to be able to walk. He's not going to be able to ride a bike. He's going to struggle in school he's not going to be able to read he's not going to be able to do all these things he's going to be you know he's going to have some issues yeah he has his struggles yes. but we chose to be, look past that and okay what are his areas of weakness what are his areas of strength the areas of strength we're going to work hard on those and the areas of weakness you're your child yes advocate, you are your so. child's advocate so i feel like that's what's going on here um with this video i feel like a lot of people they're just they're giving up or they don't have the, the time or they don't want to put the work in yeah, but lie. you have to kids are a big deal mm -hmm. all right and and, I, and this is just my opinion. You know, I feel like everyone's all this this pandemic responsible, irresponsible people. And I'm sorry, that's just my opinion, right? I feel like all these these babies that were born during the pandemic, irresponsible. Why would you bring a child into this world when there's so many disgusting things going on? And then, yeah, that's just my opinion. Yeah. Okay. But now let's get into it. You have these kids. You have them. That's a lifetime commitment, yes. okay? Many people think, oh, once my kid's a teenager, I don't got to worry about them. They're going to mm -hmm. grow up. They're going to do their... No, they're not. They still need your guidance. They still need you to be accountable of them. And hey, what are you doing now? How are we going to get you there? And you are their parent. You are not their friend. I would say even after they hit adulthood. Yeah, you, you still, some of them, you still have to kind of check up on them. Yeah. And now it's up to them if they're going to talk to you or yeah, listen to you or whatever. It's always good, too. Yeah, it's always good. But some of these videos, this is a trend I've been seeing. It's been a trending topic with kids and, and stuff like that and the attitudes and the changes and yes. the generation and things like that um, and I've been wanting to speak on this so I'm glad you did this video thank you for that uh, because I have noticed that people are like oh no the gentle parents right yes. it's like oh no praise and positivity yeah. and not stop positive and all. okay all right and then you got the ones that are hard like us right well I want to know the ones that are hard I, I want to see some data here okay yeah. because I'd like to know what is your relationship with them now remember the one we had just seen and I asked you that yes what was that going about do you remember what it was about was it the gentle parenting or was it the like the hard parenting. I can't remember. I think it was the gentle parenting. I think it was, right? And they were like, no, because you don't want your kids to do this. And all right, well, I'd like to know for those of you who are gentle parents, how are how is your relationship with your children? Because in my experience, just my opinion, again, the ones that, that made it too easy for them, they don't, now that the kid's older and they don't have a, a foundation, they don't want anything to do with their parents because they're yeah. like, you know what? You fucked me up. Good. Because you, you just kept telling me, yeah, it's going to be okay or oh, whatever. And now I can't even stand on my own two feet. And the ones who are pushed, 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 I mean, they have their yeah. issues. I'm not going to say that. In every circumstance, every situation, child, whatever is different, right? But for the most part, I feel like in my experience, what I've seen is we had the hard parenting, but we had the soft parenting. We, we yeah, had we a combination. Had we had a combination of both. Um, 
And then, but when it comes to my kids, though, I think we have a combination of both as well. Yes, but as well, it's just, hey, um, we took in a little bit of our experience. Yes. Like, you know what? We always go with the hard. I always because, go with the heart. I mean, you can yeah. always modify it. And I'm not yeah. talking about the beatings and no, things no, like that. People are like, oh, my, no, nothing like that. But you have to you have to mold these little people. That's Real what, conversations, yes. right? Um, un- uncomfortable conversations. Yes. And, 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 you know, just in case you're not aware of it now, as far as, like, in our school setting, what we know, too, now they're even pushing fourth and fifth graders to have a career plan. Yeah, to start choosing what They're already what they starting like to do career do. day, and they're already starting to have them have that seed planted so that mm-hmm. they can focus on it and be – uh, so it could be attainable. Yes. So um, I guess we'll leave it at that. Yeah. I guess. And uh, thank you for doing the video. And uh, for those gentle parents, I mean, you're doing your thing. Whatever works for you. Again. Again, just our opinion. Just our opinion. Yeah. But sometimes you have to. You have to. You have to be tough, and you have to get them there. And I'm not talking about the ones that force their kids into sports and things yeah, like no. that. No, nothing like that. Because there are certain things where I don't think they should yeah. be forced. Things like that. Yeah. We'll just uh, leave it at that. We'll then. leave it at that. Just then keep pushing forward. Yes.